Hello. Hello. Hello, everyone. So, um, yeah, so this is um, today's uh, CGAP delivery meeting, and we do have several items on the agenda. Uh, but I also noticed that James is posting a uh, requirement in the chat box. I think, James, you can start with introduce yourself a little bit, and then um, we can discuss your agenda, uh, your item in the agenda. Go ahead, James. Ah, thank you, uh, Harry. Uh, so yeah, my name is James Labaki. I'm a, a um, I work in product management at Red Hat, but um, the uh, I've been focused on Kubernetes and obviously OpenShift on the Red Hat side. Um, but uh, I, I guess one of the things I, I put on the on the proposed agenda items, I just wanted to kind of introduce myself, but also uh, one of the communities that we started called Conveyor. Uh, so I think I put a link to it. It's www.conveyor, K-O-N-V-E-Y-O-R.io. And um, the whole idea behind this community is we, we've, we've recognized the need for um, uh, practitioners, developers, sysadmins, SREs, um, wanting more tooling to help them analyze their applications and help with rehosting, refactoring, and replatforming. Um, and so we're, we're beginning, we have a number of open source tools that are there. Uh, the, the source code's all open. A lot of the builds and development are not really done in an open fashion yet, and we're moving towards that. Um, so directionally, we're trying to kind of build a community of tools that help people get their applications onto Kubernetes and kind of aligned with the CNCF uh, projects and architectures. Um, so I just wanted to bring that up, let everybody know about it and see if there are any opportunities to collaborate or if there's any advice the group would have for kind of a community that's just starting to ensure um, uh, Josh Burke is from Red Hat, who I think some of you may know is really um, helping us to make sure that we you know, put the right governance structures in place and licensing to allow for uh, more contribution from outside the community is outside of Red Hat as well as we kind of try and build that community. But I just wanted to bring that up and see if there's opportunities to collaborate. And if not completely fair, if there, if there are, I'm more than happy to work with folks. That's great. Uh, yeah, Seek uh, Up Delivery is really uh, uh, very happy to uh, collaborate with this this new project to help uh, advocating as well as um, connect these project maintainers with um, different folks from other companies. Uh, this is a uh, very open Seek. Uh, so I don't know if you have any plan to do a presentation to the Seek today or maybe next meeting. Do you have a schedule for that? Yeah, I could certainly, if you want, I didn't, I didn't want to assume that I would have the time to do it today. Um, but I could certainly, uh, you know, I think an, if, if you want to, we could set up a follow up where I can walk you through some slides explaining kind of the different tools that we've open sourced and put in there, and some of the direction that we're thinking about going um, with 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 further investment in engineering and development. Um, and then, uh, you know, we've, we also have some meetups that we run where we're trying to have people talk about the problems they're facing when Trying to refactor or rehost or replatform, and um, and so uh, yeah, but I think maybe Harry, next time I could, uh, if there's a slot on the next meeting for 15 minutes, I could walk everybody through some slides. Okay, uh, so I will definitely put your uh, presentation as an agenda for next meeting. So uh, you will be the first to do the pre presentation. Does that makes sense. Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. And on the other hand, uh, if you need any help from the uh, SIG as well as CNCF, uh, please let me know. You can ping me offline on Slack as well. Okay, thank you. Sure. Yeah, so this is a first item in today's agenda, a, a introducing of a new project, uh, which is focused on application migration, I think, and on Kubernetes. Uh, and we, we are looking forward to see its presentation in next meeting. Okay, the next agenda in today's meeting is for uh, some update from the operator working group. Uh, I also noticed um, there are several progresses um, uh, on this working group. Um, not sure if anyone from the operator working group to give the update. Uh, also, I'm curious about uh, what's the current status of the chairs. Uh, do we need to, I saw there are some nominations in the CCAP delivery mailing list. So I know, I'm not sure if anyone is here and I'm happy to uh, let you let, let you folks introduce yourself a little bit, so people uh, from Stick App Delivery uh, will then uh, show their support their supports uh, in the Stick App Delivery mailing list. 
anyone from the operator working group? Um, yes, then I'll start. Um, to the current progress, um, we did some additions in the last few weeks, um, but did not make very much progress. I hope this will get better in the next few weeks. Um, yes, to my person, um, I'm nominated as a chair for the, for the operator working group. I'm a, a senior cloud engineer at Dynatrace and working on um, cloud platforms, on deployment of applications, and so on. Um, yes, um, I, in the last few months, I tried to get the working group working and to get people joining the, uh, this working group, uh, to this working group. Um, yes, and I would love to do the chair for the working group. Um, so the second one here is Omar, I think. Yeah, hi, I'm Omar. Uh, I'm staff developer, staff engineer at SNCC at the cloud platform group. So also building the internal cloud platform for the company. And uh, with Thomas in the last few weeks, uh, also working on the operator uh, white paper. Um, yeah. Cool. Uh, uh, I the think third one, Jennifer is not here today. But okay. she also joined us in the last in the last months and also mm -hmm. uh, did a lot of progress in the operator working group. Um, yes, and I also think that she would um, she would be a good fit for the chair for a chair. Yeah. Cool, got it. Yeah, I, I also saw that Lois, Lois has already put your names on the CGAP Blue mailing list. So uh, if anyone has any concerns or objections, just let uh, us know uh, by sending emails to the mailing list. And uh, also uh, you could show your sponsor and support and your support for um, those three folks um, for the co-chair of the uh, operating working group. So please check the email in the uh, mailing list and we can move forward with the operating working group. And uh, the next item is for the GitOps working group. And we definitely had another meeting um, several days ago. And uh, we saw there are a lot of progress over there uh, as well as discussions on the expected delivery for the GitOps working group. So I'm uh, not sure if anyone uh, from, uh, from the GitOps working group want to give a quick update on that. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to do so. Mm -hmm. um, so as you said, we had an, our second community meeting was last week on Thursday. We're aiming for about a, roughly a, a monthly cadence on those. We're gonna do a lot of work asynchronously. Um, and so I have on my to-do list to connect with you, um, Harry and or Eloise to help me with some of the administrative administrivia, getting meetings on the CNCF calendar. We want to establish a Google group, you know, that kind of stuff. So I'll, be, I'll reach out to you offline on getting some help with some of that stuff. Um, in terms of just the highlights uh, of the last meeting, um, I will, we need to get the, the worker notes up online and linked in all the right places, but there are notes. Um, and so if anybody's interested until we get those organized and online, just send me a note and I'll, I'll send you the link. Um, a couple of things of note is that we have officially moved our GitHub repository over into a new organization called the GitOps Working Group. Um, the expectation there is that we'll have kind of a root repo that is the centralized thing for the GitOps Working Group. And then we expect to be building other repositories that might be sample applications or those types of things. So that's why we have an organization. So we've moved everything over there, including um, the governance model that is in place. We, of course, will, as a part of the, the working of the working group, take any discussion or PRs or those types of things around the governance, but we have kind of the, the scaffolding in place, if you will. Um, we also uh, have decided that our first deliverable will be a GitOps definition slash manifesto slash, there was another name that came up, commitment. 
Um, and so that is something we have a, a, you know, a draft that we are able to collaborate on. Um, some of the other things, there's two other things that we discussed during that meeting that there was um, general uh, appetite for, which is we would like to create a website um, that will host, for example, the manifesto um, and something along the lines of 12factor.net, you know, something that can give folks kind of a high level overview of what the principles of GitOps are and kind of be very inspirational from that perspective. So we definitely want to do some kind of a website. Um, and then finally, the other thing that came up, which is really a catalog of use cases and or case studies. Those types of things are hugely valuable. And I think there was a lot of appetite and enthusiasm for that. Um, and so we will have a concerted effort to have folks contribute those use cases and contribute the case studies so that we can help to kind of inform and educate people who are coming to the topic talk, topic of GitOps for the first time. And uh, I think that is kind of the high level update. Thank you very much. Uh, I have a, so, some small questions. Uh, so I really love the idea that we set up the website for um, the GitOps working group. Uh, I will send the link over there. It it's, it's, looks like very similar to what you are describing. Uh, I, I send the link in the chat box. Its name is GitOps.take. Do you, are you aware of this op, website? Mm. It seems a little bit similar to what you are describing, right? You know that the, I have had not been on the website. Um, ah, yes, 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 yes. I am familiar with these folks. We have been okay. communicating with them. They've put together this ebook. Mm -hmm. um, and you'll notice, for example, that it, it, on the cover, it says forward by Alexis Richardson. And so um, we have done a review of some of the material there. Uh, and these are folks that we definitely would like to pull into the community. So yeah. that's a great point. I think it's more focused around kind of, they are planning on selling their book. So this is mm -hmm. more of a website for their book than it mm -hmm. is kind of a generic um, GitOps, you know, GitOps community website. So, I see. but yes, thank you for putting that on our radar. Yeah, yeah. I'm also hoping that uh, we can collaborate with those folks if there's any possibility. And then we yep. will have a, yeah, we don't need to have different websites talking about Git, Git, GitHub. You know, it's interesting, as you can imagine, mm -hmm. um, you know, at WeaveWorks being kind of the, the pointers of the term, we mm -hmm. get we get in contact a lot with people who, and there's a fair bit of chatter out there. There's folks who are putting together training courses on GitOps and mm -hmm. those types of things. And so that's something that we definitely aim to do with the, with the working group is to really kind of form a collective community. It's not that we're the only ones that are doing anything in the GitOps space, but one of the other things that we talked about, it was a little, uh, maybe a little bit smaller, but to keep a catalog of resources of talks so for example, um, Dan is doing a talk at a conference or maybe has already done a talk at a conference mm -hmm. on GitOps and, and what we're doing in the GitOps community and the GitOps working group. So we wanna curate a list of links of resources to, to other, you know, a, a list of links to other resources that people can leverage from the website. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. And another thing I want to bring up is um, during the forming the charter of the GitOps uh, working group, uh, we do notice there are several folks uh, mentioning that they are, they have concern with the name of the um, manifesto. Yep, right. yep, which is we why have we've- idea on that? <laughs> Yeah, which is why we've proposed, somebody proposed the, the um, concept of uh, commitment. Mm -hmm. um, and so that is something we have not landed on a name, but you're right, people did, um, did. And so I'm just using manifesto slash definition slash commitment because we haven't named it yet. Okay, so we will decide a final name for that, right? Yep. Okay, that's a good, that's a good point. Yes. This is just um, this simple question I have, um, and I'm oh. seeing that GitOps working group is making uh, very quick progress, and um, a lot of people are collaborating on this working group, hoping we can make it better in the future um, activities. Yep. Sure. So uh, this is about the update from the working groups, and uh, my 
I personally do have an update on my side regarding to the uh, uh, the uh, project incubation. And so this time we are reviewing uh, the Flux project uh, on behalf of the CNCF SIGAP delivery and with collaboration with TOC. Uh, I will be the contact person for uh, incubation process of Flux um, per discussion in the uh, TOC GitHub repo. And Michelle will be the TOC sponsor and uh, she will be the main uh, contact person to review this process on behalf of the TOC. And we are collaborating together uh, to make sure that we have a quick and uh, uh, detailed uh, review process. And we are now working on the due diligence documentation uh, together with Flux maintainers as well as TOC. Uh, and we have a stick, of course, and we will send out the uh, final draft as long as we finished uh, the current content and try to let more folks from the seek app delivery to leave to leave comments and uh, to show your um, opinions or ideas regarding to the uh, documentation. And uh, another update is uh, we are also calling for uh, review on the end users of Flux project. So if you are an user of Flux or you want to um, you want to be part of the interview, uh, please feel free to contact me or Michelle. Uh, we are very happy to involve you as the end user interview for this incubation review process. And another update regarding to Flux is um, because uh, recently there is a small change happening in Flux community because, uh, that is Flagger was merged to the uh, Flux organization as part of the Flux family project. So we will also involve Fl uh, Flagger as part of the re this review. Uh, so this is a little bit different from the original proposal, which is only which was only Flux project alone. So now we basically have a Flux family to review. Uh, this is this this little change will also uh, have will also be reflected on the due diligence doc, and we will also add the contents regarding to the uh, flagger as part of the review as well. So yeah, this is the update from my side. Uh, anyone have any questions on the flux incubation review process or has any idea on that? Um, please just uh, let me know. Okay, so seems that everybody is uh, good with the current process. Um, then we will move to the next uh, discussion, which which was actually raised by TOC from a recent TOC meeting. And uh, this question is about uh, basically about what is the next big thing for CNCF in in the in areas we have. For example, uh, what is the next thing we want to put eye on or we want to onboard? In the app delivery, um, in app delivery ecosystem, and I, I personally also want to have this discussion with uh, everybody here, um, because uh, right now we have Kubernetes, we have um, Argo, we have Flux, we have a lot of, um, I will say, very promising project uh, in the family of the Seek app delivery, uh, but also, but the TOC also raised this uh, question. What is the next big thing? What should be the um, the the next step we want to achieve uh, in Seek App Delivery? I I am already looking at some very cutting edge um, errors like Vember Assembly. Um, we know that people today are actually trying to deliver applications by using Web Assembly sandboxes, and I'm. I'm also trying to have a discussion discussion with you folks. So what will be the next thing we think we try to invest uh, in the CNCF as well as in the CIC delivery? Anyone has an idea on that? How about application abstraction? Abst like, uh, what, what kind of abstraction you're mentioning? Like right now, uh, the developers need to know a lot of Kubernetes uh, manifests to be able to ah, I see. scale. So I know that uh, there's Kubella, there's OAM. Uh, I think Google is also working on something. So uh, how about uh, more abstracting Kubernetes for application developers? That is one area we are looking at. Another is more GitOps of cloud resources. 
That is really good idea. Um, so I think that traction for applications is really important for developer experience. Uh, developer experience is actually one of the most important item also brought up with the TOC. I think uh, as a sense of uh, organization, we should definitely invest on this field to help people to to help people understand better on how to use the clone native technology. So today we are basically very focused on the um, we'll say it's the infrastructure layer. Um, we are talking about networking, storage, uh, container, thing like that. But yeah, I, I totally agree that we should have some some investment on the um, um, developer experience and application abstraction is definitely one of them. Another thing I I hear you mention is GitOps for the code resources. Correct. So, so far uh, we focused on uh, like deploying the stateless apps. Uh, but for example, the architecture pattern we use in Intuit is like uh, the containers running majority are, uh, on Kubernetes are stateless where the state is maintained in a database uh, mm -hmm. or S3 or so. Uh, we are uh, following a similar pattern to deploy those cloud resources. Sometimes they're associated with application deployment. Sometimes they are uh, deployed independently. And uh, although they are declarative, people are using Terraform or CFN or something like that. Now they want to also follow GitOps for that. This is a very interesting topic. So. What what is the details under under hood? Is there any um, operators like Crossplan as the execution layer, or it can work with either operator or Terraform? So um, AWS had a open source uh, operator, I think it's uh, called operator for cloud, but there's no cloud uh, agnostic operator, and. Uh, that's one area we are looking at and thinking whether we should just go ahead and open source. I see, I see. Uh, I think the, the project for AWS is ACK, correct? Yes, ACK. I see. I got it, yeah. I think this approach we are basically um, trying to promote a unified approach to manage the cloud resources alongside of your Kubernetes applications by following okay. the same GitOps pattern, correct? This is idea. Okay. So we already see like users in GitOps work in GitOps Slack channels, deploying Lambda, uh, using sometimes Argo, uh, even like we internally, when we set up our uh, AWS accounts to deploy the clusters, we create the accounts uh, we, uh, or set up the uh, security groups and the VPCs using our internal GitOps tools, which we haven't yet open source. But this is one area where not just us, I see people talking about it even in the CNCF GitOps Slack channel, Kubernetes GitOps Slack channel, yeah. Got it. This also bring, bring up a need for maybe abstraction for cloud resources, right? For example, how we can describe the AWS RDS with a CRD or with um, some very simple and descriptor instead of its raw cloud API. So I don't know how you solve that problem. So uh, so firstly, uh, we are not even sure whether we should create CRDs because we are trying to address needs of users who use Kubernetes or who use EC2 as compute. Um, okay. uh, so for example, internally when we developed, those are not CRDs, those are regular services. Uh, and we are using, for example, CDK. We are not using a CD, suppose internally today we support AWS, CDK and Terraform. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but when we open source, obviously uh, we have to see like uh, whether it should be a controller and CRD. Uh, yeah. Got it. I'm very, personally very interested in this topic because uh, I saw a lot of needs um, for for managing cloud resources uh, alongside with your applications following okay. the same pattern. Yeah, yes. I'm looking forward to see anything uh, open source coming coming next. Awesome. And definitely Stick Up Delivery want to uh, put them into the scope of the next big thing for Stick Up Delivery. Thank you. Okay. Sure. okay. 
Right, this is, the, um, this is the main discussion I want to bring up is uh, SIG today. Uh, if anyone has any idea regarding to what we should invest next or trying to onboard uh, some new project in this era to, to make sure that SINSAFE are investing on the future, uh, we are very happy to continue this discussion, whether on the Slack or in, on, or in the mailing list. Um, we generally are very eager to uh, onboard more projects. We're happy to talk with their maintainers um, to contribute or donate their new project, their new ideas as part of the CNC. Especially today, we have a very low bar sandbox process, which can also help a lot for us to incubate a new project. And we are also discussing the CNC that we may want to have some, um, I will say, mentor program to help early stage project uh, to grow, even though they are sandbox level, but uh, we, we, we are definitely discussing, uh, discussing something like a mentor program to help the project to incubate, to move into the incubation stage. Um, yeah, this is basically the idea, where the, best, where, where the idea is coming from. And we want to find some early stage projects, which are more like um, the future investment. And we'll have a mentor um, program or something like that to help those projects grow step by step. And uh, they may fail, uh, that's okay. But as long as some of them grow into a promising project, then we, we basically are doing very good things for the community. Okay, this is um, all I have in, on the agenda of today's uh, CCAP delivery meeting. So if anyone have any other topics in not, which are not listing there, but you want to discuss, Okay, so I think uh, we are good for today's SIG delivery, SIGAP delivery meeting and uh, we're happy to see you folks and uh, thank you everyone. Uh, see you next time. Thank you, bye-bye. Thank, thank you. you.